Today, the Egyptian and Syrian armies launched an offensive against Israel. Our enemies hope to surprise the citizens of Israel on Yom Kippur. Our troops are outnumbered seven to one. If the Arabs reach Tel Aviv, Israel will be wiped off the map. Golda stars Helen Mirren as Golda Meir, one of the most important political leaders of the 20th century. It's the story of her, but also about the war on Yom Kippur. But before anything else, I wanted to talk to the director, Gay Natif, and ask him the obvious question, why Helen Mirren for Golda? I read the script and uh, Helen was already attached because the grandson of Golda, Gideon Meir, was the first one who said to the producer, I see Helen, I see my grandmother. After he said that, I met with Helen and I see my (laughs) mother. I'm Irish and I feel like she's my mother too. So this is a general feeling about Helen. Yeah, there's something about her that that makes you feel like she's- Like you've known her all your life. Yeah. Yeah. And looking at her body of work, I also saw brilliant uh, performance by her portraying a Jewish lady in Women Women in Gold. And for me, it was a no brainer. Um, And I felt after we met for three hours, I told her, listen, you're it. I've thought that about everything she's ever done. Now let's talk about the film. You have a sprawling story here that you have to condense into something. To what extent was that a challenge? The script was 80% war and 20% golden. My idea was let's change the, the, the balance. Let's do it 80% Golda, 20% war. And I decided to, instead of like, shooting massive war film, a massive war film and with tanks, explodings and stuff like that. Let's bring the war into the room without a single drop of blood. And that's where a, a, a man named uh, Amnon, a veteran from the war said, I've got all the recordings from the war and I can lend it to you. I can give it to you for your use. And that's where I decided, okay, let's use the sound. And that's, that's how basically Golda experienced the war because she couldn't go to the front at the end of the day helen was playing a real person how did she see it she did send her husband who's a great filmmaker he saw the film first and he came back and he told her it's great i love it thank you very much i appreciate it best wishes thank you sir i appreciate it flicks with patrick stoner explores the craft and culture of filmmaking that enhance our communities for television stations and websites around the country